Welcome to this tutorial showing you how to create a piece of artwork in response to the artist Guy Catling. And in Photopia, I've just opened it up and I am opening up a new project. And I'm going to Print and A4 and click in Create. And I want my piece to be landscape, so I'm going Image, Transform, Rotate 90 degrees. So I have it landscape. I've just gone control and zero to make it zoomed in. And now I'm opening a picture I found of UK riot police, um, mainly because Guy Catling has produced collages of soldiers and I wanted something similar. And I'm just using the rectangle select tool to select the image, then pressing control C to copy it and control V to paste it in. And you can see it's a much smaller image than my A4 project, so I'm going to make it a lot bigger. And then I'm going to use the rectangle select just to select the image and then go image crop. And that crops it down. OK, right, so I have my image ready to start adding things in. And I'm going to start with that riot shield. I'm going to be turning all my riot shields into these nice patterns that I found, okay, wallpaper patterns. And I'm just going to use the rectangle select to select a part that I like and press Ctrl and C to copy it and then Ctrl and V to paste it into my project. And I'm going to resize it holding Shift while I do so to keep it the same ratio so it doesn't stretch or squish. Um, to just a bit bigger than the shield, but covering the area that I need. I can make it invisible for now, because I'm now going to use the polygonal lasso tool, and I'm just going to mask off the shield. I'm doing it very quickly for the sake of this tutorial, but I would advise you to take your time and make it as near to the edge of the shield as you can or whatever object you're doing. And then I'm going to go back to the layer, make it visible, and I'm going to go select inverse, and that's going to select everything else but the shield, and then I'm going to press delete, and that deletes all the rest. Okay, and that's the first shield done and dusted. So now I'm going to do this shield next to it, and again I'm going to file open, go to one of my patterns, and choose this one. And again, rectangle select just to select an area, control C to copy it, and then control V to paste it in, and it pasted it just over to the side there. So then resizing it so that it fits the area that I need it to. And then making it invisible. And again, using the polygonal lasso tool, exactly the same as the last shield. I'm being quick again. Okay, when I get to where the shield's overlapping, I can just be quick and go straight up. And I'm going to do the same again, select inverse, and that selects the rest, and press delete, and that takes away that. But obviously that layer is above the other, it needs to be dragged down so that one layer of wallpaper is below the other. Okay, right, so zooming out so you can see what I've done so far. And I'm going to do um, the shield to the left of the main central person now. Mainly so I can show you cutting around a certain element. Okay, so I'm going to choose another wallpaper and use the rectangle select tool to choose a section and control C to copy it and back to the project and control V to paste it in and then resize to the size that is going to cover that shield. Okay. Right. Now same as the others, just going to zoom in so I can see what I'm doing. And same as the others, on that layer, I'm going to make it invisible for the time being. And I'm going to quickly, for the sake of the tutorial, but again would advise you to take your time over this. I'm going to go around the shield 
and then I'm going to go up along the police officer, down his arm, and around his hand. And as I say, take your time. You want these lines to be accurate. And then up his arm to the point that I started him. Okay. And it's the same process again, though. Bring back the image, select inverse, and then press delete, and it deletes everything in the new inverted mask. Okay, so that is the process. I'm not going to bore you by doing all of the shields on the tutorial, but I will cut back once I've done them so you can see what the piece looks like with all the shields done. Okay, here we are. I've finished doing all of the shields and I have one last thing to do, making sure I'm on the layer that has my police officers on it. I'm going to go image adjustments, black and white, and I'm going to turn the image black and white so that my wallpaper stands out even more. And that is the end of this tutorial. I hope you find it helpful.